I think, I mean, if you'd have told me when I left school that I was going to be working for a programmatic video advertising company, I would have said, okay, that's not what I necessarily had in mind. That seems quite far from being editor of Vogue, which is, I think, what I imagined myself doing. Um, but actually, it's really surprised me um, how interesting, engaging, um, and just generally, um, I had no idea. Well, firstly, I had no idea that this industry even uh, existed. Um, and one of the things I thought about when I was kind of starting my career was I'm interested in publishing journalism, um, more kind of that traditional, um, traditional kind of publishing industries, but advertising, uh, is a, a really critical part to that um, and you know providing publishers with ways that they can monetize their content better is really critical to their survival. Um, I think growing up uh, as a millennial with the internet being free uh, you know you get used to thinking well this is just a given you know I, I'm entitled to being able to access whatever I want, whenever I want on the internet. And actually in order to sustain good journalism or quality content, there has to be a value exchange there. Um, and so I'm, I'm increasingly proud of the, the work that we do to help businesses kind of reinvigorate their revenue streams and uh, adapt to an, you know, an increasingly digital world. I see. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, um, I think it's a transition. I mean, you, you said you didn't have any idea about the programmatic industry, but maybe yeah. because it, it didn't exist. I mean, it's, it's very recent, right? It's a, uh, uh, it's something I learned about like a few years ago in a, and it's, um, you know, this, uh, this balance you mentioned between producing good content and making a living doing it because it's becoming the, the, the price of, of the of advertising has, has been dropping. I mean, the, the, that real estate has been less and less uh, kind of, I'm not going to say valuable, but less and less uh, uh, monetizable. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm making air quotes there. Um, mm -hmm. So... You know, it's. Um, I think it's it's definitely not easy to to be in the media business right now, uh, and so having ways uh, where you can uh, help them, you know, make money with with their work um, because they they need to do it uh, is a critical point. And um, I, I've worked in uh, at, at Zenith Optimedia, which is a, mm -hmm. an agency uh, basically where. We bought ads internationally for uh, luxury brands that we were focused on luxury in the luxury sector in my department and uh, the the brands have all the power i mean the the media were they were partners but at the end of the day it was so competitive that uh, we could switch from a media to another and they don't definitely don't have the you know the most favorable side of the negotiation table it's it wasn't that way <laughs> uh, <laughs> So the fact that you guys are helping them uh, kind of making money where and, and adding value where they couldn't, I think it's a great, it's a great approach.